Number 34. A father lifts his child as shown in figure 9.42. What force should the upper leg muscle exert to lift the child at constant speed? All right, so first thing is, it tells us constant speed. We know that some of the forces in the torques must equal zero. So I write uh, that the sum of the torques will equal zero. Also the forces too, but it's easier to solve this through torque. So um, I simplified the picture over here on the left-hand side. Uh, essentially, uh, this problem is a rigid uh, body problem where we have the tibia acting as the rigid lever arm, and there's several forces that are acting on that um, bar, essentially. So we have the force of the quadricep muscle, the weight of the leg, the weight of the child, and they were nice enough to all give us the uh, perpendicular lever arms of each, so I color-coded it. So basically, since there are three forces in the problem uh, acting at a distance from the angle of rotation, I have three torques, so let's detail the torque of each. So the first thing is the torque produced by the force of the quadricep. If applied to the tibia, would rotate the tibia counterclockwise. Therefore, that's a positive value. So I'll say the torque of the quadriceps will be positive. The weight of the leg, also another force acting on the tibia right there. It's going to then rotate the uh, tibia clockwise. Therefore, it's negative. So torque of the leg. And same thing with the child, produce a negative torque. Therefore, the torque of the quadricep will equal the torque of the leg plus the torque uh, of the child. And then I can expand on these. All these R's in this formula will be perpendicular, so I'm not going to keep writing that. So here we have the lever arm of the quadricep multiplied by the force of the quadricep will then equal the lever arm of the leg multiplied by the force of the leg, aka the weight, plus then the perpendicular lever arm of the child multiplied by the force that the child is exerting, which is aka the weight of the child. So I can divide this whole thing by RQ, right? Whatever I do to the left, I got to do to the right. So this is RQ. Just to save space, I'm just going to erase that now on that side. And here's my uh, beautiful formula. Okay, so now let's uh, take that and plug in the values. So FQ will now equal perpendicular lever arm of the leg. They told us was they told us 20 centimeters. I converted it in, into uh, meters already. You don't have to, but you know, I just I don't like to remember when I can and when I can't, so I just convert it all the time. So force of the leg is going to be equal to uh, the mass, which they told us was 4 kilograms. Look back at the problem. 4 kilograms multiplied by then 9.8. Plus then the perpendicular lever arm of the child, which was 0.38 meters. Again, I, I converted that. And then let me just actually one second. 0 0.38 multiplied then by the mass, 10 times 9.8. That's the weight now. All divided by then the... 0.02. Okay, easy peasy. Let's just plug it all into the calculator. So here, 0 0.2 uh, times 4 times 9.8 plus 0.38 times 10 times 9.8, all divided by 0.02. And we get a value about a little, low, yeah, 22.54. So um, again, two sig figs it looks like in this problem. So 2300 newtons. All right, guys, thanks for checking out the channel. Please remember to subscribe, hit that like button, and I look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.